Hey you, what's going on? Are you looking for a motoblog on how to treat asthma in an emergency situation? If that is so, then this motoblog is what you've been looking for and I'm gonna talk about it right now. Hi, my name is Jason Rama. I am the creator of this YouTube channel called Motoblog with Jason Rama. I am a teacher, a trained health and safety advocate, a reaction blogger, and a motoblogger with over 25 years of driving experience on motorcycles and scooters as well. As we move along, kindly don't forget to help my channel grow by simply clicking on that thumbs up icon. Please watch this video to the end so you can get what's in store for you guys. If you are new here, welcome welcome to my channel. Kindly click on that big red subscribe radio button right there, kindly click as well on that notification bell right after you click that red hot subscribe button. Please click this bell twice to get super updated with my latest uploads. So, you wanted rock solid ideas about how to treat asthma in an emergency situation. Just to set the expectations. This content is published for educational purposes guys and is created under the pain of fair use as well. The author and publisher does not claim any form of ownership on any content on this video. Our copyright disclaimer is pursuant to section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976 which states that, allowance is made for, fair use, for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and find out. But first, let us give our amazing subscribers and supporters a big shout out. Thank you very much guys for all of your support to Vlogs TV channel and to Motovlog with Jason Rama YouTube channel. Really nigga? I can never grow this channel without your support. I really appreciate all the time you put in to watch this content guys. Thank you very very much guys for your time. And thanks as well to our Father in Heaven and hallowed be thy name. Having said that, let's jump into the content guys, let's go. One eternity later. First thing first, let's recall what really asthma is guys. A person with asthma has fits or attacks of difficult breathing, like asms is like an attack of hard breathing guys. If you listen closely to an asthmatic, you may hear a hissing or wheezing sound. Especially when breathing out. When he breathes in, the skin behind his collar bones and between his ribs may suck in as he tries to hardly gasp to get air. If the person cannot get enough air, his nails and lips may turn blue, and his neck veins may swell guys, but, usually there is no fever. Asthma often begins in childhood and the thing is, if disregarded, it may be a problem for life. It is not contagious, but is more common in children with relatives who have asthma. It's like hereditary guys. It is generally worse during certain months of the year or at night. Oh no! The thing is, people who have had asthma for years may develop emphysema. An asthma attack may be caused by eating or breathing things to which the person is allergic. In children asthma often starts with a common cold. In some persons, nervousness, stress, or worry also plays a part in bringing on an asthma attack. But don't worry because I got you. Wow! Here's the treatment guys. First thing first, if asthma kicks in and gets worse inside the house, the person should go outside to a place where the air is cleanest. Remain calm and be gentle with the person. Reassure him. Give a lot of liquids. This loosens mucus and makes breathing easier. Breathing water vapor may also help a lot. For mild attacks guys give ephedrine, theophylline, or salbutamol. For severe asthma, ephedrine or salbutamol can be used with theophylline. If the asthma attack is especially bad, inject epinephrine like adrenaline. Adults can have like, one-third of a cc, while children ages 7 to 12, can have one-fifth of a cc. You can repeat the dose every half hour, as needed up to three times guys. Inject epinephrine just under the skin. If the person has a fever, or if the attack lasts more than three days, you may give tetracycline capsules or erythromycin. And don't forget to be mindful with the dosage guys. In rare cases, didn't you know that roundworms cause asthma? Try giving paparazine to a child who starts having asthma if you think she has roundworms. If the person does not get better, seek medical help immediately guys. Listen. Guys for the prevention of asthma, a person with asthma should avoid eating or breathing things that bring on attacks. The house or workplace should be kept clean and free from dust. Do not let chickens or other animals inside. Put bedding out to air in the sunshine. Sometimes it helps to sleep outside in the open air. Drink at least 8 glasses of water each day to keep the mucus loose. Persons with asthma may improve when they move to a different area where the air is cleaner. Lastly, don't smoke when you got asthma guys. And that's all for me today guys. Just a recap, we just did a motovlog on how to treat asthma in an emergency situation. 
like doing first aid medication for asthmatics guys. I hope you like what we got in store for you today. Guys, if you like our content today please give my channel a chance to grow. Kindly don't forget to click on the thumbs up icon, and if you are new here guys I'd like to welcome you to my channel once again, you might want to kindly click on that big red subscribe radio button right there on the lower right side of your screen, and kindly click as well on that notification bell that populates right after you click on that red subscribe radio button, please click it twice to get super updated with my latest uploads. And if you have a chance to help someone, kindly share this content to them or even on other platforms so you can spread love guys. And hey, if you have any suggestion or reaction with my blog today, please feel free to share your thoughts as well as your comments and suggestions in the comments field which can be located just right down below the name of my channel so I can read them and I could connect with you forthwith. I can't wait to hear from you guys. God willing, I'll be more than happy to see you again on my next video. Bye for now guys. Cheers.